Happy hello everyone. When it comes to happiness, money only goes so far. About $75,000 a year if you saw my episode on money. However, while making money has its limits, you can still buy happiness if you spend that extra money the right way. Here are five ways to invest in a good mood. My name is Ryan Wingfield and my job is to make people happy. After years of doing stand-up comedy, I've devoted an entire year to the study of happiness. Join me each week right here on A Road Comics Road to Happiness. Financial security. One of the great things about having money is you don't have to worry about not having money. Financial insecurity is the number one thing people stress about, which can have a negative impact to both your happiness and your health. That's why you can buy back some of that happiness by taking extra money to pay off loans and debt, or better yet, investing in your future. One study found that 84% of people found that saving for a rainy day made them feel better in control in and improve their well-being. That same survey found that 57% of people who had saved $100,000 or more were very happy compared to only 30% of people who had saved less than $20,000. It is worth noting though that that survey was conducted by a bank, so you know, take it with a grain of salt. Buy some experience. A memory is something that no one can take away from you, unless of course that person's name is Alzheimer's. Regardless, experiences have a lot more happiness return than anything material. A study by Harvard University found that you are almost twice as likely to find happiness in an experience than in a material good. One of the reasons for this is that new experiences help us focus in the moment, which has been proven to improve happiness. Another reason is that experiences are social events which you share with friends and family. This improves your relationships with them and it gives you something to talk about later when you reminisce. Spend it on someone else. As I mentioned in my previous episode on money, college students who were given $20 reported higher happiness when they were told to spend that money on someone else rather than themselves. What might be surprising to you is that a repeat of that study in third world countries, where people have significantly less money than wealthy American undergrads, had similar results. The effect of charity work goes even further to your happiness when you can see the impact that your donation has which is why charity work does so much to improve your happiness. Writing a check to the Red Cross is good, but an even better option might be to donate blood. That way you get a big smile and thank you from the nurse who takes your blood, and afterwards, free cookies. Spend your money where you spend your time. Odds are you know somebody who likes to shop as a way of feeling better. Let's be honest, mostly women. And while there is evidence that retail therapy can boost your mood a little bit, a better option is to shop with the comfort principle in mind. That means avoiding purchases which might be considered fun but not very practical, such as shoes that you're going to wear only once to a friend's wedding or a collectible toy that you're never going to take out of its package. While spending money on a really nice nice bed and sheets with a high thread count may not be as fun of a purchase, given the fact that you're going to spend almost a third of your life on that bed means that it will have a much bigger impact on your life and hence your happiness. Buy some time. Time is money, and people who value time over money are happier. So by the transitive property, you can actually buy happiness if you use money to buy time. Huh? Studies have shown people can improve their happiness by spending extra money on getting extra free time. For some people, this means buying a more expensive house with a shorter commute to work. For other people, it means hiring a house cleaner or a gardener. And while it is nice to have more free time to pursue your interests, too much free time is a bad thing, what? as we will learn next week in an episode on why you don't want to be bored. That's all for this edition of A Road Comics Road to Happiness. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and leave any happy comments below. Next week, the importance of staying busy. Until then, stay happy.